Your Excellency William Samuel Ruto, Speaker of the Senate, Right Honorable Ken Lusaka, CS Wamanwa, all Honorable Senators present, my colleague, Excellencies Governors who are here, Honorable Members of the National Assembly, Honorable Members of the County Assemblies present, Representatives of Commissions and Independent Offices, Representatives of Government Departments, Development Partners present, Representatives of Youth and Special Interest Groups, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. Mine is to give a vote of thanks for the three days that we have been here. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today marks the end of the fifth devolution conference, a conference that saw us engage in hearty discussions on matters, devolution, and make constructive deliberations aimed at improving the lives of Kenyans. This event has been a reminder that as leaders, we are bound by one accord, service to the people. And it is on that basis that even in the face of ideological differences, we do not shy away from sitting at the negotiating table to channel the best way forward. The country has witnessed the passion, commitment and dedication that each of us has from the presidency and the cabinet secretaries to governors, county executives, <coughs> senators, members of parliament, MCAs and development partners and our zealous endeavor to support the Big Four agenda of providing affordable housing, universal health care, manufacturing and food security as championed by the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, and His Excellency Deputy President William Ruto. Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, this conference would not have been a success without the support of the national government, and I would therefore like to thank His Excellency, the President of Uru Kenyatta, who graciously accepted to be our Chief Guest, and also to thank His Excellency, the Deputy President, who has graciously accepted to be our Chief Guest during the closing ceremony today. In His Excellency, the President's address, he challenged all of us to put the interests of the people first and endeavor to better their living standards through impactful development projects. The launch of the Kenya Devolution Support Program and the Kenya Urban Support Program will also benefit all the 47 counties and ensure the advancement of devolution. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Right Honorable former Prime Minister Raila Odinga for agreeing to grace this conference as a keynote speaker yesterday. We appreciate the move by the President and Honorable Odinga to put aside their political differences for the sake of uniting the country. As a country, we cannot underestimate the power of the handshake. The unity talks and the eventual handshakes between His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta and the Right Honorable Odinga has sparked a sporadic wave of handshakes, some that we never imagined would happen and I will not name names. I also commend the stewardship of the steering committee and my able co-chairs, Honorable Senator Irungu Kanaka Ngata and Honorable Eugene Wamalwa, the Cabinet Secretary of Ministry of Devolution and the steering committee that organized this uh, conference. We really appreciate the, the support that you have given us. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, let me thank the principal of Kakamega High School for providing a very conducive venue for this conference and to Amalemba Primary School for allowing us to use their facility for registration and a safe holding space. Coming in, the first thing that caught my attention was the signage at the front of the school that said, if you are lazy, please try another school. I think that is such an outright way to switch between the wheat and the chaff, and would like to appreciate the principal for Kakamega High School. Let us give her a round of applause for her. We don't take it for granted, especially because of the rain and the, a, lot, a lot of the damages that we have um, in, the, in the compound because of being here, and we appreciate that they have hosted us. 
Our conference facilitator, Professor Karoti Kanyenga, has been outstanding and kept us alert even during those drowsy afternoons. You know, there is one house where we used to see members sleeping, especially when they are long speeches, and gladly our facilitator has made sure that that was not the case during this conference. The big four sector conference facilitators have also conducted themselves professionally and kept us focused throughout the last three days. We are also very grateful to all our speakers, moderators, panelists, who spared their time to share with us their knowledge and experiences. We all agree that the multi-agency planning committee, chaired by Ms. Jacqueline Mogheny, the CEO of the Council of Governors, for working tirelessly since January this year to put together this conference in record time for four months. Thank you, Jacqueline, and your team, and we really would like to appreciate them with a round of applause. We don't take for granted your sleepless nights and especially the effort that you have put in, in the last few days. Special thanks goes to the host governor, His Excellency, Whiteley for Paranya, for working round the clock to ensure that this conference is a success. What's mentioning is the football matches played at the state-of-the-art Bukungu Stadium. Other than, other than the well-manicured playing tap and the meticulously designed terraces, we noticed one thing, that suits and ties hide a lot of things. <laughs> Another thing we noticed was that as governors, we need to pull up our socks. Being beaten 5-0 by senators is such an embarrassment. <laughs> Especially since these same senators will still want us to appear before them to shed light on county expenditures for the next four years. Fellow governors, your excellencies, we need to pick up one struggle. We cannot be beaten in the field and in the boardroom as well. <laughs> Having said that, there is a special group of leaders I would really like to thank. The County Assemblies Forum, the MCAs. These leaders have saved us the embarrassment of losing to the Senators by beating them 1-0 in the subsequent one. That has really helped save our face. Because of them, we can now go back to our counties with our heads held high. To the people of Kakamega, you have been very hospitable and welcoming. May the Isikuti drumbeats echo beyond the, this county and this country, and may the Kamapeka dance, which I have learned to love, spread to every corner of the African continent and in the world at large. On this particular note, I would like to thank Governor Oparana for enlightening me and teaching me the difference between the Bukusu shoulder dance and I think the Maraboli shoulder dance. That was a lesson I will never forget. While we are at it, we also need to thank Governor Paranga for providing an enabling environment for a 24-hour economy. <laughs> During this devolution conference, like the Honorable Right Honorable Raila said yesterday, a lot can happen in the night time. <laughs> Overall, this conference has been a success. We have learned a lot, and the knowledge we have acquired from this session will help us serve our people better. I would also like to appreciate the conference event organizers for such an amazing setup and sound system. The consortium of hotels in Kakamega County and the adjacent counties for the delicious Luya delicacies, the office of the Inspector General for ensuring security is top-notch, media houses for extensive and purpose coverage, and your distinguished delegates for participating actively in this conference. Let us give ourselves a round of applause, all of us. Allow me, Your Excellencies and distinguished delegates, let me convey my heartfelt gratitude to the following partners and sponsors for their financial support, technical support as well as support in kind. The national government, led by the presidency and specifically um, the office of the deputy president and the ministry of devolution and ASAN and, and senate as well for the financial contribution they have given us. Ladies and gentlemen, also allow me to acknowledge our platinum sponsors, led by Safaricom PLC. 
We are also very sincerely grateful to the following sponsors, without whose support we would not have registered this magnitude of success. The gold sponsors, Resolution Health and Kenya Commercial Bank. The silver sponsors, the County Pension Fund. The bronze sponsors, Water Sector Trust Fund, IGTRC, Lab Fund, Cooperative Bank, DT Dobi, Osho Chemicals, Kenya Post Savings Bank, Emergency Plus Medical Services, Cisco East Africa. And also our development partners, UNDP, USAID, UK Aid, UNFPA, UNICEF, and UN Women. And the category sponsors Vision 2030. Let us give them all a round of applause. It is this support and the support of many who we could not mention that we were able to come up and finalize with the outcomes of this conference, which we will be sharing much later after the official closing ceremony. We will be seeking the support of all partners in implementing the action points that we will list later today in the joint communique, as well as bringing into fruition the propositions of previous conferences to realize the benefits of devolution as enshrined in the Constitution. Finally, allow me to thank His Excellency the Deputy President William Ruto for the leadership you have offered the Council of Governors through the Intergovernmental Budget and Economic Council and their support to this conference and making time off your busy schedule to officiate over this closing ceremony and the launching of the inaugural speeches for Excellency Governors. We thank you. Let's give His Excellency the Deputy President a round of applause.